real quick. Thank you guys for coming on out, supporting us and everything, and uh, welcome to Hooked Up Sport Fishing. I'm your captain, Captain Steve, Steve Mitchell. Uh, plan on taking you guys out halibut fishing today. We're going to do a live bait potluck trip, which is uh, chasing after halibut and striped bass. Uh, here lately we've been doing pretty good. I don't know if you guys have been checking out our fishing reports or what have you, but uh, there's been some really good fishing going on, and uh, we expect them to have a good day today as well. Fishing a kind of big tide or whatever, so it's going to be tidal fishing for sure, meaning like the fish will probably snap at the beginning and the end of the tide. So that means also that you guys got to capitalize on everything, every bite that happens to come across your rod. And uh, what I'm expecting you guys to do is just really pay attention to your deck cam back there. It'll help you guys out as far as showing you guys how to make this happen as far as uh, hooking your fish and keeping your fish on the hook and being uh, successful in landing your fish. Uh, halibut fishing is just finesse fishing basically. Uh, the fish, he bites on the hook. Once he does bite, he doesn't, he doesn't just swallow the bait, he grabs the bait and then he holds it a little bit, right? So then once he feels that the bait is probably dead, then that's when he tries to suck it in. So once you get bit, if it's not like kind of like a suicide bite and it's just ripping line all off and everything, we ask that you just start pulling off some line, at least about three feet of line once you got bit. Your bite will look like something like this. It'll be a, a thump like this, or maybe a flutter, or sometimes it just peg it and suicide and just pulls it all the way down, right? Yeah, those are the good ones. So, in the, in the event you just get that thump or that flutter, feed it some line. We'll always tell you, leave it in a rod holder. Don't pull it out of a rod holder and don't go trying to set the hook or what have you. For guys who bass fish, I don't know how many guys bass fish on the boat, but you guys are one, will be the ones who have the most problems because <laughs> You, your instincts tell you to set the hook any anytime you feel anything on the rod, on the line or whatever. But don't do that. If you want to be successful in this, let that fish take it, feed it some line, count to about five or so, and then start reeling slowly, right? When you reel slowly, you'll end up bringing that fish, you'll start seeing the rod tip end up start bending down, folding over or whatever. Just bring the fish in slow, take your time. It's not like you got Moby Dick on the end of the line or anything, so you don't have to speed reel. Just take it slow. You came all this time, all this while to come down here to go halibut fishing. You didn't want to get it over with that fast, you know. Nobody likes a two-minute brother, you know. So slow it down. Take it slow and low. And then when you take it slow and low, once that fish ends up hitting the surface, do not bring his head out of the water. I repeat, do not bring his head out of the water bring his head out the water he's gonna go crazy he's gonna start doing stupid stuff and the chances are you're gonna lose your fish because he's gonna break that little thin leader off you know we fish with small 15 pound test uh, leaders up to 25 pounds and he still will break it off so bring him up slow and low and then once he gets to the surface keep his head up underneath the water and uh, call for your deck can he'll come and let your fish figure eight your fish out there keep the rod in front of you don't be pulling back like this or stepping back to the, away from the rail into the center of the boat because if that fish decides to dive and you're in the center of the boat, you can't see what the fish is doing and they might break you off on the bottom of the boat by shaping your line because it's up underneath the boat and you're standing in the middle of the boat. You can stand over there at the rail at all times, drop your rod tip and that, if that's the case, and that'd be that, right? So, uh, like I said, count to about five, Feed it some line, after you fed it some line, count about five, and then uh, start rolling slow. I need you guys to scream out, fish on, loud as you possibly can, anytime you get hooked up, because I have to mark your spot where you caught that fish at, that's how I'll keep you on the fish, because they be in pockets, right? And they hang on ledges and everything like that, so wherever that fish is, I need to know where that fish is, so when you scream fish on, I know we got fish here, and they just say we got multiple fish in the spot. I really want to be able to mark that spot because I will sometimes cut a, make a short drift instead of going all the way back up where we wasn't getting them. I'll come right up in front of that spot where we did get them. I'll stop right there, and uh, I'll tell you right then and there, bait up, 
and get ready to drop down because I'm gonna put you right there on those fish where you just got them at and it'll happen. So other than that, it's pretty basic what we got going on, guys. Just take your time. There's no rush about this. It's halibut fishing. It's called finesse fishing. If your weight ain't skipping the bottom, bouncing on the bottom or whatever, you ain't fishing. So you'll hear me say that periodically throughout the day because sometimes guys get carried away, conversating and enjoying the moment with their friends and they're not paying attention to their rod. They think they're fishing, but they're not. So in order for us to have a good score, we will definitely need to capitalize on making sure that your rod is fishing at all times. Your weight is bouncing on that bottom. Constantly. That's what we need. Alright? So, Jerry is your deckhand back there. He works with me. But he works for you. Not for me. He works for you. And uh, the way he gets paid is by tips. That's how he gets his money to take care of his family. So if you guys felt like he did you a good service at the end of the day, make sure you guys look out for Jerry. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to him. He'll go over some safety with you. And then he'll get more in detail about what he's expecting out of you guys to make this be successful. And just remember, guys, this is halibut fishing. If you've never done it before, there's no such thing as a silly question. If you want to know something, don't be afraid to ask or feel like you're going to look stupid for asking. Because if you don't know, how are you to, how are you to know? You come out here to learn things, so if you do go back home, and come back out on your own private boat. At least you can say you came out with us and you learned how to do it the right way. And by the end of the day, I suspect that you guys might be professionals. So, let's <laughs> look for it like that. But uh, I'm going to turn it over to Jerry here. And uh, he'll tell you guys whatever all he wants you to do. And uh, we'll take it from there. But we can untie and yeah. let's get up out of here. Sounds good.